Hello, good afternoon, Overture Greenville residents. So this is my live video. We're making oatmeal chocolate chip cookies and I'm gonna go ahead and get started with that. Oatmeal chocolate chip cookies is something that I thought was a family recipe, just exclusive to my family, because that's what my grandma said. But now that I've learned that everybody and their mama knows how to make them, actually it's even on the back of this container right here. So they're pretty simple to make. You need butter, milk, unsweetened cocoa powder, sugar, vanilla extract, peanut butter, and oats. So we're going to go ahead and get started. So in a pan on medium heat, you're going to put your one stick of butter, which is also half a cup. So let's get this rolling. There we go. And I have this nice convenient trash can right here. We're going to need half a cup of milk. And you want it on medium heat because you want it to all melt together very slowly. So we're going to take three tablespoons of the unsweetened cocoa powder. And these make, they make a whole lot. And the best part, two whole cups of sugar. It's just easier for me to that. So we got one cup and two cups. So these are the ingredients that we put in it first. So you wanna mix and make sure they're all melting together. And once they start to melt, once they get melted, they'll start to boil. And once it boils, you're gonna let it boil for 60 seconds or a minute. So. I'm using this induction burner, which is really great. I like it. It's not like a stove or a stove top, it's like an oven. So I just keep mixing, mixing until it starts to boil because it does have milk in it and milk tends to scorch the bottom of pots. So we're slowly getting there. I see it's starting to boil. My butter still needs to melt. And these last forever and they're so good. They're so good. It's a great snack or you can make it a whole meal or just sit and eat the whole tray. There'll be no judgments. Looks like we're almost. It's got two little pieces of butter that just needs to melt. Smells so good. Can you smell that orange? Mm -hmm. You smell this aroma. <laughs> Are you gonna have some? I was about to say I'm getting hungry over here. <laughs> Even though you watched me put two cups of sugar in it. <laughs> no judging. I mean you have to have sugar. Alright, so it's starting to boil, so I'm gonna let it boil for a minute. Mm. And that's just when it starts bubbling. You know, some people think it needs to be like boiling like crazy. And no, just when it starts to bubble, then you want to keep it going for a minute. Look at those bubbles. Oh my gosh, I wish I could smell this. This smells so good. So good. I haven't made these in years. I used to always make these with my grandma. Oh, I think it's boiled long enough. So I'm 
cutting off the heat. And I'm gonna bring over the, we're gonna add the oatmeal and the peanut butter and the vanilla extract. Vanilla extract is one teaspoon, but you know, I like to get a little, you know, can't have, you know, vanilla's good. <laughs> Just throw some in there. <laughs> and then I've already measured out the half a cup of peanut butter. And I like to just put it in this way and then do the oats last and just get it all melted together because trying to mix peanut butter into oats is kind of hard. Make sure we get all the peanut butter. I always wondered if powdered peanut butter tastes just as good just because it's easier to deal with. All right. Get that mixed in there pretty good. And then the three cups of oatmeal. And it has to be the quick oats. Don't get the old fashioned, um, the quick oats actually cook in the heat, the heat of this chocolate mixture. The old fashioned ones, it's gonna be kind of, I'd make a mistake. It still works, but it's like they're bigger flakes and you'd be like chewing on oatmeal for the longest time while you're trying to eat these cookies. So you mix everything together. Gonna, I'm gonna move this off the heat over here because I've got a pan with some parchment paper spread in it. So I'm just gonna make sure it's good and mixed. Do you see that? Do you see this? It's, these are so good. Oh, that looks good. They smell good. So I've got my spoon. So all you need to do is just take a spoonful and drop it on the parchment. You can choose the size. And they'll harden and they become like the most perfect little cookies ever. I put them in the fridge. Some people might want to keep them on the countertop, but I want mine like right away. So the fridge, you keep them in there for like 10 to 15 minutes and they'll be ready to go. So what I'll do for our lovely residents is, since I made these up and obviously me and Lauren, we probably could eat these by ourselves, but we're generous. I'm going to, after these harden, I'm gonna individually wrap each of these and I'll put them right here in the community refrigerator. And you're welcome to come down and have you want to try it out and let me know how I did. So I appreciate y'all tuning in and guess what next week come back because at the same time next week Lauren will be making her famous pasta salad and we'll be pretty excited for that.